Hello all, and welcome back to Creos Gaming. We are continuing our... Uh, excuse me. Been a little bit. I am continuing my Gaming with Abby Lynn series. Hello! And we are continuing to play Torchlight 2 with Horatio the Engineer and Tintrin the Ember Mage. Uh, in the last video, we finished gathering the keys for uh, the quest... Uh, which is now Mission of Mercy, which is the main questline quest, but we do still have a fair number of side missions in the Frosted Hills, so that's where we're going to go now. Our general goal here is to play through the primary questline, but uh, we're also picking up what side quests we can and doing what sub-dungeons we encounter at the same time. We're doing what we call a full clear, which means we try and cover as much of the map as we can. One of the quests we have here is taking notes in the Ice Deep Caverns. This is one of the subquests, so we're going to dive into this. Of course, I say that, and Abby Lynn playing the more tank-like character, I'm supposed to be letting her lead. So. Yeah, I thought about that briefly, and then I said, meh. So, I will just try and follow you. Oop, that's a bum for the most part now. See if I can be more properly uh, back row DPS instead of trying to lead the party. Interesting that we haven't come across any opponents yet. Indeed. That is kind of curious. Oh, here uh, we are. Now one of the things we have is the robot parts quest. So we're going to want to be keeping an eye out for uh, side rooms that aren't marked on the mini-map so that if we see anything that might lead to another area we can try and get it because this would be the first set of characters that well it's the second set of characters we've had that's gotten the quest and the other set now like permanently has the quest because they never found all of the pieces i got an orange there so did i uh, the orange I got was a Skull of Cremone. 8% ranged weapon damage bonus, or conveys 35 physical damage over 5 seconds. That'll be worth preserving. I got a bitter axe. Ooh. That I can use. Oh no, it's two-handed. Ah, oh, I keep uh, doing that. That would be why it was better damage. Um, mm -hmm. I have a helmet, 7 physical armor, plus 58 health, and a socket. No, thank you. Okay. Alright. And I just remembered, oh yeah, my pet can pick up things. Yep, I want to run back here just real quick because there's this little nub that sticks out. And I just, yeah, no, there's no way to get anywhere with that. Okay. It just looked like it could lead to a secret area, and it didn't. Maybe, but no. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Goblin sack! That, huh. Not quite sure what to think of something like. There's no goblins. I think this is a. This is almost a lycanthrope looking guy. So, why was there a goblin sack? I don't know, but I think it got clicked on or something. Yeah. Because it's gone now. Yeah, basically a means of. Ah, uh, wrong way. Maybe? Nope. There cannot we go. get through that. Hello, Mr. Hulk thing, whatever you are. Ooh. Specifically a hulking slasher. Yes. And its charge attack reflects missiles, or it has a charge attack and it reflects missiles. I'm not sure which was the case. I I'm pretty sure those little guys are goblins. Oh, so there are some goblins in here. Okay. I hadn't seen any yet. I only we remember took down their the sack! Guy. They must be very sad. Yes, where are they going to sleep now? Yep, Goblin Archer, Goblin Archer. He's just a little guy. Yes. There's definitely a lot that this has in common with uh, Diablo 2 since it came from the same developers. You've got the critters that flee if they... Um, if a friendly dies and then Every now and then you'll see one that reses those same type of critters. Another goblin sack. Come on. There we go. There we go. Cash. 
Oh, they keep them up so the whole gang and the yeah the slasher or whatever guys. Oh, I have free spells and nothing to use them on. Mm, maybe oh, you should run that ahead. That would make sense. It's it's like keeping your food away from bears by hanging it from a tree. Yep, precisely. Yeah, that could make sense. It's an unidentified pistol. I don't care. I don't use pistols. Okay. Maybe it's a set piece. If it's a piece of a set, then I care. Wolves! Oh, those are too high for me to get to anyway. Oh, hello. And I still don't have another spell yet. I guess that's okay. <laughs> I need to remember, though, that Apparently I... Apparently I'm going right instead of left this time. Okay. Oh. Eh, maybe go left only works in, uh... Or Ooh, always in D&D. &D. King Ice Gel! Oh, cool. He I heals himself? Yep, heals self, kill it with fire. Well, that's what I do. Uh, that didn't take long. Nope. They said kill it with fire? Yeah, kill with fire. <laughs> Not exactly great grammar, but that's pretty much what it said. <laughs> oh, hey, there's another enchanter up there. He's Farquaz the Assassin. And I don't know what that'll mean for, what he ench for how he enchants, but we'll see. So, two unidentified objects, long-range smoothbore pistol, and 25 physical armor, 9 strength attribute, bonus 67 health for a chest piece. Okay, so when you start rattling off stats and it's you don't have the piece, yeah, I, open I up don't the piece. know what you're looking at. <laughs> That's no, fine. no, it's fine. Okay, so it's a chest piece, 25 physical armor, 9 strength, 67 health. No, thank you. Okay, I figured, but always best to check. Anything? Nope, that's a wall. What was... It's a skelly. Ah, okay. Well, there's Chill Huff, so... Go back. Yeah, we will want to go... Oh, oh, no! Dang. Uh... Resurrect in town, and then I will port to you. Because, wow. Have you been fighting things without me? Maybe. Just a little. You're, you're already ahead of me on experience. Well, that's not my fault. Yeah, <laughs> let's enchant some stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's see. What does he do for enchanting? What do I want enchanted? Uh, level 17 requires level 20. What level are we, anyway? Eh, I'll just try enchanting this scepter. Ooh, a powerful enchantment. 75 poison damage. Okay. Uh, let's try the other one. And it's a new enchantment. A 7 poison damage. So apparently an assassin enchanter does poison damage. That doesn't surprise me now that you say that. No, me neither. So I have the feeling that what happened when I died is one of those groups of ice bats dropped and all decided they were going to attack me at the same time. That's my guess, anyway. It seemed pretty instantaneous. Like that. Well, I'm going to say it's because you were running ahead. I, what, it, you were right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't mean I have to say what's true. Generally, it's a better idea if you do, though. Eh. Oh, hello. Oh, these guys. These guys? Yeah. Apparently I opened a waypoint portal by accident. I'm not going to go through there. I wouldn't advise it. Yeah, we, um, I saw them anyway from the edge. Ah, okay. Yes, the ones that were too high for you or something like that. Yes. Now. It is nice that you're able to port to an ally, though, so that if you do res in town, you can get back into the action pretty quickly. Uh, here's a big guy. There's a goblin around the back here. Can I hit him? I can hit him. Good. Oh, oh, oh. that seems like something you don't want to be in. What class did? What? I'm not sure. Huh. That's kind of weird. 
Um, somebody down below who can okay. see us. Oh, okay. Because when I got there, and there's... Move, like, move, maybe move. this. Yep. Running away. Do not want to die. Because that is a lot of ice whirlwinds. Wow. How many of these guys are there? Because my pets... Wow, I have taken a lot of damage and my pets fleeing. Did you kill him? I think oh. I got one caster. Yeah, and one of them's a purple. Yeah. Barad Reaver. Oh, move, move, move. Wow. Oh, man. Did you die? No. no. Okay, good. He did, though. Yay. We Sweet. beat him. Oh, my. That was a fight. Gunpowder. Don't care. I don't think we would have made that without my healing minion. No, I don't think so either. Uh, well, it's a little brutal. I still drank quite a few potions, though. Yeah, me too. I don't like being stuck in a dead end or single way out like that, but much prefer open spaces. There's nope. a Dixie's Chick song that talks about that. Yeah. Well, maybe not exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> well, you know, room to make the big mistakes. <laughs> it still Wait, applies. You know that song? I'm shocked. I don't know why. I don't know either. Well, it's not like you have a recording of it. There's this nope. No, I heard... <laughs> that would be my brother. Yes. <laughs> no, no, it was back when the radio was still how you heard music. Now there's just Pandora. Mm-hmm. You're chaotic, right? Chaotic. There's all this chaos going on. Kinda, sorta, sure. Okay. Yes, I have uh, wand chaos and that kind of thing. Uh. Yeah, we have another purple. Okay. Uh, yep, and it's another purple that casts circles. I really need a non line of sight attack. Ooh. Ah, run away. Which means I'm running from the tank, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, your tank's running from you, too. Oh, that's two circles. If we're running from each other, does that mean we're getting farther apart? Yes, I'm sure it does. Okay. Oh, another circle. <gasps> and I'm toast! I'm sorry, what happened? I, I, there's a slasher I was dancing with and some other things. Okay, this uh, is not tally. working well. Hello. Lou, Lou. Oh, I should use... Oh, that's bad. Run away, run away, run away. I got swarmed by a ton of... Frost creatures? Yes. Yeah, I know, I'm here for you. Woohoo, level. Oh, that's bad. That's a circle. Ah, move, dude. That's another circle. Yes, All I right. know. Alright, frost spiders down, slashers down. Okay. All we've got left is a boss, then Kellek Thuck. Oh, that's bad. Run away. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to run towards you, but there's no room. No, no, it's okay. He's dead now. Oh, good. You're safe. <sighs> Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there? No, I'm not okay. Okay, nine physical armor. Yeah, that's fine. Identify scroll gold. Oof, that was a fight. That was a fight. And now we get to fight a boss, too. Well, oh, we hey, wouldn't have stuff. to, technically. We could go to the top and, you know, not fight them. Not actually do the quest? Yeah. This doesn't really sound like us, but it'd be an option. Yeah. Okay, so that actually goes to Chill Huff. No external... Alright. Oh, that was nuts. 
So now we both have two deaths. <laughs> on to Jill Huff. Oh yeah, I leveled. Hold on. Yeah, I was gonna say. So, one, one, two, three, one. And then come over here. Firebrand does more damage, but I'll put it into Magma Spear because that's more straight up damage to begin with. Okay. Okay, then Horatio gets to lead. Oh, you should summon your heal bot. You mean this heal bot? Yes, I do. Okay. Is it weird to be calling something that's not a priest a heal bot? Uh, no, because it is called a heal bot. It I is think. actually called a heal bot, isn't it? <coughs> You're going the wrong way. Besides, druids could be heal bots too. I suppose. Oh, hey, but that one was actually called priest. Cloven. They aren't as good as priests? No. Yeah, it depended on the situation. Druids had a better heal over time. Okay, the wizard, or the ember mage, kind of. <gasps> oh! Found uh, him. I don't know. This guy is not him, so okay. we could be dancing here. Because that looks like... Oh, hello, ice tornadoes. Kelleklog. Kelleklog? I don't know. I think I... they just put letters together. <laughs> oh, there's Chilhoof. Okay. Dope. Uh, so apparently you destroy the thingy and... Oh, hey, yeah. I actually ran out of mana. Wow. Ow. Whoa, that hit hard. Oh yeah, let's kill the healer. There's a healer? There was a healer. Yes, kill the thing that heals the bad guy. That sounds wise. That didn't work. And free spells. Uh-oh. What happened? There we go. I was going to say, it looked like he was preparing to do something big, and ow. Again with the damage. Uh, oof. Oof. And I'm still hitting him from way back here. That's cool. Am I? Apparently I wasn't. But we got a master key. Why were we here? The lost key. Retrieve the golden gear from... No, that's not it. Crossbow, small sword, health potion, mana potion, spiked glove. The master key for a large chest. We oh, were... okay. Military spear, regent boot. Oh, what do regent boots way. do? Health and mana. And I can't wear them yet. So I thought we were taking notes. Yeah, we're in the ice deep caverns. We're supposed to acquire journals. We haven't acquired any journals. Did we miss them? Like, was there an event we were supposed to do? Oh, Ooh, hey. Back right here. Alchemist notes. Okay, there must be a way to increase the heart's power, perhaps by drawing it from the elemental guardians. Their power is incomprehensibly vast, and any one of them could supercharge Ordrak's heart to more than equal the task. But would draining away that energy kill the guardian? Would its associated element and then run amok, or vanish altogether? I must spread the donation across multiple guardians. The guardians are unlikely to willingly part with that energy. I must take what I need and pray that there is time for apologies later. So there's a wand of 100 damage, which is not an improvement. There is a shield of 21 armor, which you won't be able to tell if it's better or not because you're looking at the quest rewards. Right. And then there's a burning foul tag, which adds 30 fire damage to my pet. Oh. There's a medic regent helmet. Okay. Ten physical armor, health, dexterity, cast speed. Meh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take the tag because it's. Oh, it's. We're not actually at the. I can't select anything, which means. Oh yeah. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> so that's one of three. Oh, hello. I'm not supposed to run ahead. I'm not supposed to run ahead. Old habits <sighs> die hard? Yeah, they do. Yeah, well. Uh, that's the portal surface. Okay. So 
Don't accidentally Ooh. click on it. Yeah, run away, run away. Yeah. Okay, so is Z highest health potion? I don't remember. So there's supposed to be a button that automatically uses the most powerful... Oh, hey, here's the forgotten chest. Most powerful... Ooh, a mysterious collar. Health potion you have. An unidentified helmet. Okay. Oh. That time it wasn't my fault. You turned around. That's because I thought you were not with me. Okay. Well, there's probably going to be just three corners with stuff in them. That seems to be the way this is going. So we just have to find... Yep. The other two... Okay, so look at your shield. And I'll open this. And the shield is 21 physical armor, 50% knockback resist, 10% chance to block, and plus 13% to ice damage. No, thank you. Okay. Alright, Ordrax Heart is itself corrupted and might actually be more dangerous to me than Ember. I have designed and crafted a tool in the form of a stave to control and wield the heart. But it is not enough. The foul energies released by the heart are capable of creating physical and mental deformities, even with only casual exposure. Accordingly, I must construct a suit of ember-resistant armor to shield me from the worst of the effects. Hmm. But he's going to then use that to drain the energy of the guardians, which means he'll be subjecting them to the effects, presumably. So probably around this corner. Yep. Okay, so we know that when I turn the quest in, you don't want the shield, so I can just take the... Uh... Alright. After months of research and experiments, I am forced to conclude that my ember blight is incurable, and I am not alone. Hundreds die from it every year. Thousands more must be isolated from ember, lest even the least exposure trigger a psychotic episode. The only real solution, it seems, is to remove the source of the infection, to destroy all ember everywhere. Until now, this has been an unrealistic proposal, but with the defeat of Ordrak, I believe a universal cure to ember blight is finally within reach. This is the first one. I th I'm so, not sure. Did it say one? No, I'm just saying that the order, the logic with it. There is ember blight that's incurable. Mm -hmm. Therefore, remove the ember. Mm -hmm. And I can do it with Ordrex heart. Ordrex heart is causing... Or can I siphon it away from the... Okay, the so it's not powerful enough yet. And then go over to that one, and that one says... Yeah, could be. I, that would make sense. Okay, so to the surface with us? No, there's still a corner we haven't discovered. There is? It looks like it. Okay, well, I will follow you. Because I, I thought we recovered everything. Gold. Yay, gold. gold. Uh, Yay, unless gold. you were back in that quarter. Yeah, I, I saw gold and I went into that corner. <sighs> I see how you are. Yep. To the surface! Yes, and then we can turn this quest in and then we can go back to town. Oh, I love it. There are some cool-looking helms. The trouble is, there are some really awful-looking helms, too. Hello. These notes are enlightening, to say the least. Clearly, the alchemist is suffering from ember blight-induced dementia. Each subsequent note is more delusional than the last. But, hmm. He did wear a suit of armor, and he did wield Ordrak's heart, and he did attack the Guardian of Water. What if there is some nugget of truth in his madness? Dude, that was way too organized to have been insanity rambl insane ramblings okay so I'm gonna open a waypoint portal and pop over back to the Asterian Enclave and there oh yep Z and X so it says down here at the bottom Z uses your best potion and X uses your best mana potion but I am still going to upgrade the mana potions that I have in here, just because I am so used to hitting them by uh, habit anymore. And then we can sell the small ones. Eventually you get the ability to transmute potions into higher quality potions. But yeah, so why are you selling them? 
They're not. You've got plenty of inventory space. There's no reason to sell them. Because it's eventually not currently. Uh huh. I see fine, how you are. Fine, fine. I'll keep them. <laughs> I'll just swap them out, and they can sit in my inventory until I finally find the place where they go. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, identify these things. So, this is a mysterious collar, 33 physical armor, and a whole lot of other stuff. Sure. Oops. I can give that to my pet. Um, it's certainly better than the random basic collar that he has. And then the helm. Oh yes, I had been saying that there's some nice helms and some ugly ones, so I tend to just keep it off, because otherwise that's what my character looks like. Um, <laughs> what's this one? <laughs> Physical armor, 10 mana. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'd rather have the mana stolen on hit and stuff. And then these, I'm probably going to wear eventually, but not right now, because I can't yet. Uh, and let's talk to you. You can sell that and that. Well, buy, because I'm selling it to you. But that's not the point. <laughs> and then I need more I am at your service. identify scrolls. One more portal scroll. And I think I picked up a spell. Yes. Rumble. A wave of energy expands outward, shattering delicate objects and sometimes breaking shields. I think your pet had that one at one point. I'm going to give it to... No, no, no. I'm going to give it to my pet. Mana cost zero, cooldown ten seconds. So now my pet can bake up, break objects and potentially break shields, which will be cool. I wonder if hmm. my pet can use barter one. I doubt it. Oh, it reduces I, the purchase price. Right, which is, well, I And mean, improves the sale of prices of your own goods. It might. I mean, since your pet can purchase stuff when it leaves, I have no idea. Uh, I'm thinking weapons expertise is not helpful, though. Oh, probably not. No, no. All right. Well... For now, we will call that good for this video, and in the next one, we'll finish up what side quests we may have in the, uh, what was it, the Frost Frosted Hills? Yeah, it sounds about right. All right. Thanks, all. Bye.